So this is our main facility. It's in here that we can recreate the conditions uh, we experience on other planets and moons by controlling the gas composition, the pressure, the temperature, the wind flow, and then we can uh, add particles and look at particle transport. Uh, so basically it's a large vacuum chamber. We can pump the air out using a pump that's over there behind a big box. It pumps the air through a tube which goes over that way and then there's a valve. So we evacuate the air and then we can put some other gas uh, atmosphere inside. Uh, so this large thick wall on the outside, this keeps our atmosphere out. Uh, but then there's an inner chamber, so it's a bit like a dewar flask uh, that this inner wall is not connected to the outer wall, it's just kind of resting in there. And this is multi-layer super insulation, uh, which thermally insulates the inner from the outer part. And so then we can cool, control temperature using these two large cooling plates. They function uh, by injecting circulating liquid nitrogen. Uh, from a bottle, for example, over there, through tubes which are connected to each uh, plate. So the liquid nitrogen comes in, typically evaporates at some point, and then gets sucked outside again. So we can independently cool either of these plates to, let's say, minus about 170 degrees C. Uh, so typically an experiment will involve us uh, mounting some user or collaborator's equipment in this section here. This is our, essentially our test section. Uh, and so if we look upwind at, for a moment, this large black section here, this controls the air temperature. So again, it's a liquid nitrogen controlled uh, series of plates which control the air temperature separately from controlling uh, the temperature of their sensors. Uh, so for generating wind, that's in that section there. As you can see, there's an axle and two large fans, which are now rotating really rather slowly compared to what we normally use when we're generating a large amount of wind. Uh, this is controlled, driven by a motor, which is mounted on top of the chamber up there. And interestingly, it's coupled, not directly, but through magnetic fields. There's a magnetic coupling up there. Uh, so... The unique and um, uh, special uh, facility that we have in this chamber is that we can generate wind and then inject or resuspend particles in it, sand or dust particles. And we can monitor them, monitor their concentration and the flow using this laser Doppler vel velocimeter. So what that does is it shoots uh, laser beams out through the window and can uh, pick out an individual micron scale suspended particle and measure its velocity in two dimensions. And that we can read out over here. So this is a typical run where we've been running at fairly high wind speed, about 16 meters per second. And here you can count how many particles, uh, what the concentration has been as a function of time and also get the average wind speed and the turbulence. Uh, we basically control all of the parameters with the control system where we sit over there. And now I'm going to open the large port so you can have a look inside the chamber. So now you're looking down as if you're a dust particle that's entering the chamber. So you'll get sucked down past the air cooler and then into the sex test section and then be either transported above or below uh, using the fans and then you'll be returned uh, and meet again here at the uh, meeting point.